After a head-on collision with Tobias last week, Hannibal licked his wounds as Will and Jack were investigating a killer whose murders stretched back decades. Hannibal again showed us how far it's willing to go in terms of the visuals on screen, because we've seen some disturbing stuff thus far, but this might just top the lot. A totem pole of human bodies was discovered, 17 in total. They ranged from years to decades old, and the place of honour was reserved for our most recent victim, who sat right at the top. Now you do have to extend your reality a little to see how one man could accomplish such a daunting task, especially by himself, but the man that did it was Lance Henriksen. Only one of two men to have been killed by an alien, a predator, and the Terminator was our guest star for this week. Yeah, 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 I know he was an android when he was killed by the predator in AVP, but regardless, it counts for me. And he only had one scene in the whole episode, but with it he told us enough we needed to know about his sinister character. Will was right. The bottom and the top murders from the totem pole were both connected. They told a story. It was father and son, at least in Lawrence Wells' mind. And there lied the kicker. It was a legacy burying case of mistaken identity. Wells was looking to secure his legacy, and he offered no resistance to being caught. All he wanted now was for his story to be remembered. Unfortunately, Joel Summers, his latest victim, was not the son of Fletcher Marshall. He got things drastically wrong, as instead of securing his legacy, he just downright murdered it. And whilst we're on the topic of murders, Abigail's darkest secret was revealed, as we found out that she did help her father in the killings of all of those girls. Quite honestly, it wasn't all that surprising. She's been constantly proving to us that she is more than capable than what meets the eye. She believed it was a kill or be killed situation. Her father was to simply just look at another girl who bared a similar resemblance to Abigail, and the rest was down to her. Except the killing, of course, but she met them, learned about them, and set them up ready for her father. There were a lot of bodies that were being resurfaced this week, and aside from the 17 that we got with that totem pole being displayed, Nicholas Boyle turned up once again. Last we saw him, Abigail butchered him, and Hannibal helped hide the body. Well, Abigail risked both her own and Hannibal's livelihoods, as she dug him up from the ice and uncovered him for the world to see. Safe to say our resident cannibal wasn't too pleased at finding out the news, but it did give him an opportunity to see if he could further trust and confide in Will. So far, so good, as he began to tell Will about what happened with Abigail. He told him that if Jack were to find out the truth, he would hang Abigail in her father's place and the world would burn her for what he had done. He's not wrong, but Will had the tough choice of to either turn Hannibal in and lose Abigail, the one good thing going for him in his life at the moment, or partake in this elaborate lie. And as it happened, he chose option two. Hannibal's way with words made Will see perspective from his point of view. And oh, they teased us when Hannibal thought about reaching for that scalpel. He had many roots out of that predicament, and he didn't have to tell Will any variation of the truth but he wanted to have Will as a true friend. Because if Hannibal can confide and trust him with this, what does that say down the line for if Hannibal wishes to reveal a little more about his true nature? I need to trust you, Abigail. What if I can't? My overall verdict for this week's episode of Hannibal is a very strong 8 out of 10. Network TV will struggle to get more disturbing than this, as Hannibal stretched the boundaries to the limits of what can be shown on TV. And like I've said before, I think you should be able to show whatever you want after a certain time in the latter stages of the evening. Character-wise, Abigail was central to this week's episode. Casey Rowe again owned her role, and that scene with Jack and Alana over the part decomposed body of Nicholas Boyle was one of the highlights from the week. Jack knows something is up, and unbeknownst to him at the moment, he is completely correct in 
all of his assumptions. Hell, it's going to be a stinger for Alana when she finally sees that her reservations about Hannibal, which are the reasons why she partially believes Abigail anyway, are all built on a lie. Lance Henriksen was a surprising but phenomenal addition to the ever-growing prestige of Hannibal's guest star list. He stole the show with his one segment that he was in, and it was one of my favourite moments from this week's episode. Just the look on his face when he realised all he had been working on had come undone was played to perfection. It's such a shame he couldn't have been involved in just a little bit more, but I suppose if you're going to be involved in just one scene, you better make the most of it. And Lance certainly nailed that without question. You know I'd love to meet Brian and some of that writing team when they come up with some of these ideas, but as genuinely creepy and disturbing as some of them are, they are put together and shown off in such an artistic way. I don't think I've ever seen another show that showcases murders like this, and it's an accolade that Hannibal holds and will likely hold for an extremely long time. Now, Will may have agreed to keep Hannibal and Abigail's secrets for now, but it looks as if his mind is well and truly broken. He lost time on numerous occasions this week. One second, he's on the beach looking at that totem pole of bodies, and the next, he's in Hannibal's waiting room. It's concerning Alana who isn't ready to move forward with their relationship because she feels he's unstable, something which Will agrees with her on. And it also seems to genuinely concern Hannibal. But is he using Will's damaged mind for his own gain? Or is he honestly worried about Will's mindset? Will still hasn't told Jack about what's going on, and the longer that he leaves it, the harder it's going to be to explain if something happens to go wrong. Let's hope that isn't in Will's future. So what did you guys think about this week's episode of Hannibal, and where was the totem pole of bodies ranked in the list of disturbing murders? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you on the next one. And I certainly won't be forgotten there. I'm securing my... I'm securing my legacy.